Hey, this is Corey Knight with Classroom Tech Made Simple, and I'm here to share with you how to organize your Google Drive. Now that we're becoming more digitalized in education, we can finally relieve ourselves from all those papers everywhere, laying on our desk, all over our classroom, losing papers, all this stuff. This is great. This is fine. But the problem is, is now that we have things like Google Drive or any other cloud service for storing files, we can sometimes get just as disorganized in Google Drive. So I'm here to share with you a way that I use so that I can start organizing my files because so many times I've gone to Google Drive and I've tried to find exactly what I'm looking for and it's just not there. So then I have to ask that person to share the file with me again and all this stuff. So this is kind of frustrating for me, but I'm going to show you what I do in order to start actually organizing my Google Drive. So many of us may have something that looks like this where we just have files and files and files and files on Google Drive. So this is the one that I use for, uh, for work specifically. But you can see if I go over here to the Google Drive for my personal use, I have all these different folders that I have created so that I have specific folders and locations to where I can find my files. So back to the one that is all disorganized, what I have started here is I have started to create new files specifically for the courses that I have been teaching. I even have a file for our Chicago field trip information, some student examples. I even have some discipline and substitute files that I have put into these folders. So in order to do this, it's as simple as clicking on new and you want to go to folder and then you just title the folder whatever you want. Um, I'm just going to title this example folder and then click create. So it's going to work and then you'll see that it's right here. Say that I want to take any of these files, I can either drag and drop them into this folder or I can click on it, right click, and I can click move to and then I can find the specific folder that I want to drop it into. Click move and it moves it here. Now to make this even a little bit more organized, you can then create folders inside of a folder. And this always helps me with, if I have a particular unit, what I'll do is I'll create sections within this folder in order to make it a little bit more organized. So maybe this is unit one. I click create. And then you can see right here, this may be something, a file for unit one. So this is just an easy, simple way for us to organize Google Drive. I encourage you to do this because if not, your files are going to be lost and it's best that we just create these folders in order to stay more organized on Google Drive. So finally, the last thing I'm going to show you is if you like, if I go back to my drive, if you like this to be in a list, that's fine. But if you want to change it to more of a tiles version, I kind of like this a little bit better or a grid view, just go up here to the upper right hand corner of the screen and use the grid view and it kind of organizes your things in a little bit different of a way. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Please make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel as it helps me know that more people are watching these videos and learning from what I'm trying to teach everyone on using Google and many other online resources to help teachers become more productive in the classroom. This is Corey Knight with Classroom Tech Made Simple. We'll see you next video.